up y'all the name's tech tone and today's video is going out to people who do enjoy potential spoilers now this is the second or third time that i'm having to re-record this because i am so goddamn hyped for what this leak could potentially mean for the future of ooh la la um i'm quite excited however it's sometimes a little bit too much because half of this is like pseudo confirmed right pseudo confirmed but the other half is up in the air uh it's a shady message take it with a grain of salt some of these though the other servers have them and uh hopefully it's coming soon to our servers now once again just because the other server is getting it does not mean that we are getting it so I just want to show you all this shit. I don't want to get anybody a little bit too hyped in case it doesn't happen. But when your boy Tectone finds something a little bit hype, I want to share it with you guys. So, disclaimer. Take everything with a grain of salt. But this shit's real good. So, let's talk about what is going on. If y'all know somebody who I love, there's two people. My wife and Spicy Puddin'. Spicy Pudding is a beautiful member of the community, has done an amazing job for anybody beginning the game and all that jazz, and he is letting us know about some cool stuff. So today at 12.05 p.m., he says there was a new update on the China test server, okay? Fourth temper. We're going to get through all this, and then we're going to go down each in detail. New function, pet farm. This function can give your character extra attributes based on the pets you put inside the farm. Different class will get different stat bonuses from pet farm. Unlike pet adventure, you can only put the pet you have. Oh shit. Oh shit. I didn't read that. Crap. Okay. Unlike pet adventure, you can only put the pets that you have in the farm so don't release any purple plus pet yet until we know what exactly is going on well isn't that just a big old bag of shit regardless new content is good so we're gonna go through this list real quick in detail so first of all fourth temper okay i'm cool with that that pretty much means that uh, your dps are probably gonna have to go and bail healers who the hell knows? Uh, maybe also Impale, I guess. No stat is really screaming at me. Maybe Armor. Tanks, this is going to help a lot. Because uh, then they go HP, Armor, Block. No, never mind. I take that back. This is just going to help DPS out with Impale. Uh, fourth Temper, hey, that's an option. Uh, I'm cool with it. Uh, hopefully it'll unlock at level 69. Who knows? Last one unlocks at 59. Uh, it'll probably be good. I mean, hey, that means that's another goal that we're going to have to hit as players. The more goals that I'll have to hit, the longer I'm going to play. So, hey, I'm cool with that. Uh, let me know how you feel in the comments. Rip shells. Feels bad. <laughs> New function, pet farm. Now, this, this sounds kawaii as shit. God damn, that sounds cute. So, pet farm, right? Uh, extra attributes based on the pets you put inside the farm. That's really cool. Uh, this is going to give people a more reason to spend their shells uh, and their starfish on gotcha, which is great. Uh, once again, more goals to hit, more things to do. The longer people are going to play, good. I feel like that's an overall good change. Uh, different class will get different stat bonuses from the farm. Makes sense. Uh, you know, as different classes, we're going to need different shit, so that makes sense. Uh, unlike Pet Adventure, you can only put the pet you have in the farm. Way to cuck me, XD Global. I have released all of my pets, except for two. Um, I am feeling lied to. I am feeling deceived. I am feeling hurt. I am feeling like a total asshole because I released my unicorn gorilla. <sighs> however, however... This is only a good thing. It sucks that we won't, we didn't know about it sooner, but whatever, new content. Um, more reason to hold on to pets, more reason to pull. It's good. Uh, let's take a look-see. Looks really cute. Um, is that a shock to me? No. 
Uh, the game is absolutely adorable. Everybody knows that. Hey, it gives you more power, as you can see at the top. Let me drag it down a little bit. Yeah, it's going to give us more power, which is going to be great. More ways to get stronger. It's going to be good. And that's how it's going to look like if there's a pet inside of it. As you can see, the T-Rex there in the food. Um, I'm so goddamn stoked with this. Uh, I'm going to load that bad boy up. I'm going to go eight unicorn gorillas. Not really on my DPS. Who knows? All I know is... That's another thing to do, and I'm stoked, and it looks cute, dude. One of my favorite games is Animal Crossing. This feels very Animal Crossing-esque. So, now we've talked about what we can pretty much assure is happening, and this is really cool. Now, let's talk about what might be happening. Okay, once again, grain of salt, everybody, okay? Take it. Grain of salt. Got a message from a dude called 72 Hours of No Sleep Challenge. Talk to the guy. Seems great. Guy or girl, excuse me, don't mean to assume gender. In 2019, YouTube, please don't ban me. Leaked events. Yes, that has been something that's been plaguing my mind. Where is literally everything? And apparently, and supposedly, and just maybe, might be here. Leaked events. Now, y'all know that events have make or broke games in the past. This game has had none. And that's insane, because generally in other games, I didn't log on unless there was an event going on for a lot of games that I played. Uh, so, hey, that says something about ooh -la, la getting me to log in every day. Content creator shit aside, this game's fun. We all know that. Now, let's talk about why I'm excited about this. And I'm going to try not to get too hyped. But it's very hard for me, because... There's something in these that I love a lot. And if you've watched any of my old videos, you know what I'm talking about. Let's talk about it. October 26th to the 31st. Halloween week. Yes. Event. Special boss. Cool. Hopefully it's something dope. Headless horseman. Beat him up. Get some cool shit. Candies. Okay. Sure. Why not? What do they do? I don't know. Costumes. Costumes, baby costumes i love me some transmogs oh my god i lost all of my money to league of legends skins i lost all of my money to overwatch skins heroes of the storm skins summoners war skins alune skins ooh la la skins yes please sign me the hell up dude dude yes as long as as these aren't half-assed, dude. I want to see some some new abilities. I want to see everything about the character change. I don't want to just see, oh, now he's wearing a hat. I want to see, like, Haunted Warlock, where the frogs turn into, like, little ghosts. I want to see, like, Deathblade Assassin, where, like, Red Veil, everything has, like, a red aura around it. Spooky shit. Spooky shit, spooky shit. Dude, regardless, costumes. If this is real, dope. Once again, don't know. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Thanksgiving event, special food feast event for pets. Cool. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense for the pet farm, okay? These two lining up, that makes a lot of sense. And that's the assumed time frame that I would be assuming that we'd be getting these in anyways. So also, pretty cool. December 1st to 25th Christmas event, food, gifts, new pets, and some costumes. Good. Really hope it's not just a stereotypical reindeer pet. But uh, hey, I would love to be a jolly old fat Santa Claus as a warlock. Would be dope as shit. Uh, gifts, I love it. In real life, in games, it's fun. Opening little gifts, getting some RNG, I love it. I don't love RNG, but when it's free stuff and it's cosmetic, I love RNG. Uh, December 31st, New Year's event, bonus gifts. Okay, a little bit lackluster, but hey, maybe the gifts are super sick and maybe these are jumbo wumbo gifts. And lastly, and this is the one that really piqued my interest, is the 2020 Lunar New Year's event, special gifts and new rat pet. I'm going to assume that 2020 will be the year of the rat. Uh, if so, this gives the comment a lot more validity. I don't know why I haven't looked this up yet. I should. I have now confirmed it. It is the year of the rat. So, this does, the reason why I like this so much 
is because it's so outrageously specific. If any of y'all are familiar with leaks from other games, you know, like Smash Bros or all that shit, they always made it super vague. That way people could predict shit vaguely. And if they get it right, that where they could even remotely line up, people are like, oh dude, I called it. See, I'm an insider source. But this shit is so ridiculously specific, like specific dates, the name, what you're gonna get, all that jazz, which kind of makes me believe it. Uh, I mean, I don't know what to think, but I know in my heart of hearts, God, I want this so bad. Like, dude, where are the events? Where is the everything, you know? When this will come, it'll be a joyous day. It'll be a beautiful day and we shall feast, brothers and sisters. But regardless, hey, I love me some leaks. So hey, if you made it this far, consider giving me a subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. But that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully, I didn't get too obnoxiously hyped up. It just happens sometimes. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get the hell out of here. So, I've been Tech Y'all have been great. Hope y'all are having a damn good one. And as always, peace!